Hi everybody, Martin again at Flicking Feathers and I'm tying yet another wet fly. This is a small yellow mayfly. It's in Peter O'Reilly's book, The Flies at Ireland. It's a really good pattern. Um, if you're going to Ireland, you should definitely have some of these in your box. Um, but it works in other places as well. Uh, it's slightly smaller than your average but it's a nice pattern. So, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel and get access to the members-only content, as well as being entered into the fly giveaways. So I've got my hook my vice, it's a size 12 B175. You could use a slightly longer shanked hook if you want it, but up to you. And I've just ran on some brown silk, brown thread. I'm going to get some cock pheasant tail fibres for my tail. Five or six. Length, at least the length of the hook. You can tie them a bit longer if you want. Catch that in, and I'll get ready for my rib, which is small oval gold. Just a couple of tart, wraps of thread will hold it. Then I'll trim this length of the body. Right, now leave yourself plenty of space here. So trim it, you know, it looks like I'm trimming that quite short but you do need the room. Right, so I've come forward and there's kind of the end of that, that's roughly where the body's going to st stop. Just call it that. Um, simply because there's a hackle and then the head hackles a hard flank feather um, which takes up a fair bit of room. So Take my thread back, do a tie in to the tail and rib, and then I'm going to dub on some yellow sulfur, slide it up, and dub that forward, and then just anything going forward, just sweep it back. And I don't mind if I see a wee bit of the brown sticking through, that's alright. Right, I've dubbed that relatively lightly and the body's fairly thin. Hackle, bright yellow, this is actually fluorescent yellow, Chinese. Get some wax on this bit of my thread. Right, this is where I need some grip. Right. Tie that off. Snap that away. And I'm going to clip on my hackle pliers. Oops. Try that again. There we go, better. Take a full turn at the front and then back down the body. And this, I hope you can see this on the camera, this is quite a long fibred. Right, the barbules of this feather are quite long. Right, I want the hackle to be long, I want the slight to be. No super dense in the hackle, but long in the fibre is how I like these. Um, so you get plenty of movement. F just follow the hackle around with the ribbon, catch it, full turn at the back and then up the body. The opposite direction. Get to the front. Take a full, a full turn in front of the hackle to lock everything off. Then cross the thread. Tie that down. Then 
you can just come in, grab the tip of that, snap it away. Trim away the waste piece there. Just got to tidy up. I'm going to just come in with the Velcro and bring some of that dubbing in. Blend it into the hackle. Just get a wee roll. Then we're ready for the head hackle, which is, as I said earlier, mallard flank. So I've taken away all the fluff at the bottom. I'm going to expose the tip. Fold it back, and I'm just going to leave that like it's lost already, you'll never see it. And then fold the hackle, as you wind, and don't be shy, these are nice, it's like a very soft fibre, this it moves wonderfully in the water. When you've got enough, mm. yep. You say you've got enough. Come across the thread. Tie that off. If you can fold it back, fold it back. If you can't, just cut it. Hmm. Trim that away close and then just the feather will be all twisted so you can sweep it forward and then sweep it back and it'll lie it'll lie back the way it's supposed to sit. Because you've just knocked the twists at it. And it's just a case of finishing off your head it's hard to it can be hard to keep the head small so don't I mean don't go nuts with your wraps you know just just the minimum you need to get the shape and then whip finish don't catch any fibers in the knot Tidy that up. <coughs> Make sure your knot's well seated. Come away. Now it's just a case of coming in with some varnish. Coating the head. And then Clear the eye. So there you go, small yellow mayfly, just a wee Irish wet may, great wee fly, well worth tying up. Hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines guys, bye.